What's going on guys? I am Switters. Welcome back to the channel and this is your solo guide to the final mission in Act 1 called Extraction where you exfil with Dr. Jansen. If you find this guide helpful, please like and subscribe. You help out the channel big time by doing so and let's just jump right in. Here's a quick look at my loadout. I've got the SVA is going to be my main and then I've got the MCW as a backup. I have the 60 round clip in both of those. We're going to pack a punch each of these. We're going to double pack a punch the SVA and we're going to have single pack a punch on the MCW. So when you pack a punch each of these weapons with the 60 round magazine in them, it goes to 120 rounds. Great thing to have. For my tacticals, as you can see, I have the symbol monkeys. Casimirs would be fine here. It would be very good here, actually. Decoy grenades would be fine as well. You don't need the symbol monkeys. Actually, I think the decoys might even be better for this than the symbol monkeys because we're going to try to send zombies to go attack mercenaries rather than attacking us so i think decoy is actually better than symbol monkeys here but up to you i use healing aura you can use frenzied guard here whatever you feel most comfortable with to be honest with you but i think healing aura and frenzied guard are probably the two best brain rot we're going to use on our main weapon we want the zombies that we're killing to try to kill the other zombies so they if we can turn one they're going to take out other zombies. Less work that we have to do. So that's great. Speed Cola is huge. Have Speed Cola. Definitely get Speed Cola. You probably by now know how to do the free perk Easter eggs across the map. So Speed Cola definitely. Deadshot is great. Quick Revive is great. Stamina Up I use. You don't need it at all. Uh, Jug is fine if you want to do it. But the three main ones, Speed Cola, Deadshot, Quick Revive. And obviously we're going to use the Ether Tools to upgrade our weapon as well. Once you load in, now's the time to do some contracts. Earn points so you can pack a punch, buy things that you need to buy. We're going to buy armor. Armor is huge. As a solo player, armor is your best friend here. I mean, you want, obviously, your perks. You want your double pack-a-punch weapon, like I said. Brain Rod is great because if you turn a zombie, that zombie will go and kill other zombies for you. Again, that's just less work that you need to do. So that's always awesome. But double pack-a-punching your main weapon, that's big time. So you want to do that. The faster you can get kills in here, the better. So again, just start off, do some contracts, whatever you find easiest, best for you, go ahead and do that. So now that you've done those contracts, you've got pack-a-punch, double pack-a-punch, you got all the perks that you needed, all that, this is a final check now. So make sure, go through all of your stuff, make sure you have everything that you want before you go in. What I like to do, again, as a solo player, every slot in my rucksack that is not filled up, I fill with armor. So you see me here, I'm just gonna buy a ton of armor. Any open spot, I am gonna fill it with armor. Like I said, I'm stressing this because it's important. In order to go to complete this mission, you're gonna find it on your tack map just there. You see it's an exfil site in the tier two zone and it has a star on it. And now it's highlighted on your map as you're running. You can see it right there in front of us. Get yourself to the exfil site now that you're ready to go. There's only gonna be a few zombies. This is not a typical exfil. It's a little bit different. It works the same way, but just you don't get a lot of zombies spawning in. So clear out the few zombies that you do have, get on this helicopter, and let's go rescue Dr. Jansen. The chopper is going to infill you into a part of the map that is, it's not a new part of the map, it's actually in the northern area, it's kind of like the docks area, warehouses area, so it will be familiar to you probably. Once the helicopter stops, you're going to be over a roof of a building. We're going to exfil and land on top of that building. This is gonna be our first kind of position. We're just gonna post up here. So zombies will spawn in from here and mercenaries will spawn in from here. I like to just focus on the mercenaries. Zombies will attack mercenaries as well. So if they see each other, the zombie's gonna go after the mercenary, not you. The mercenaries are your biggest threat. They're shooting at you. There are snipers. There's a tower right in front of you. They can post up there. They're on the ground. I just focus on the mercenaries and I don't bother with the zombies really at all. If they start coming for you, they can come up to this point, obviously take them out. But from here, I just focus on the mercenaries. And then once you kind of clear this area, then we can push forward. So we've cleared up pretty much all of the enemies here, so we're gonna now jump down and move forward. The next stop kind of in this, there's multiple positions you're gonna be taking up, but the roof is the first one. The next one here is the train cars. Cresting this hill, there are snipers, as you just saw. I got sniped, and it takes out all your armor. Again, I hope you brought in a lot of armor. I mentioned it a bunch of times. I like to push to the left here. It's just clearer for me. There's a, like, you can kind of flank around where you're not heading straight into the, the sights of the snipers here. So I come to the left. We can refill ammo over here. 
And now you've got zombies. Hopefully your turn will go off and the zombie will help you. But you're going to get plenty of zombies now. And there are mercenaries in these buildings. Just keep an eye. Take out the zombies. If you start getting gunshots going off around you, obviously take some cover. So you can see in front of you, we have this yellow marker. That's where we're heading at the moment. We're also going to get some smoke that pops off to my left here. Smoke always means mercenaries are coming in. So be ready to take some cover. Deal with a mimic if it pops up. Uh, a lot of stuff going on around you. Zombies mini bosses mercenaries a lot of stuff going on but you're going to be all right trust me we're going to make our way up these stairs and it's going to be filled with more mercenaries so go slow take your time take them out as you go at the top of those stairs there are some more mercenaries we're going to deal with them take them all out and then we're heading to the roof and we're going to interact with this computer panel right here make sure there's no zombies or mercenaries or anything that you're actively engaged with because you do get locked onto that panel for a few seconds it's not long but it is a couple of seconds so just be sure that you're not actively engaged in a fight at that time He's locked to time. I'm a hold up nearby. Sending my location. Hurry. Got mercs incoming on that grid now. If I should move like you mean it. So Dr. Jansen is waiting for us. She marked herself on the map. That's where that yellow marker is there, which we're going to head toward now. Again, Take your time. You don't have to rush over there. You can kind of post up a little bit, deal with whatever's in front of you. Now that we're getting closer, you can see on your mini map on the top left there, that yellow circle. Dr. Jensen is in that circle somewhere. It turns out she's always at the same door. So you can just go to the door that I end up going to. So I just want to show you, this is where she is down this ramp. And she's going to be in that door on the left right here. At the time that I was running down here, I didn't know that that was the door that I needed to go to. So I just want to point it out to you guys. All you need to do is walk up to the door. And then she's going to give you a quote saying, uh, actually, give me another minute or so. You're like, hey, I'm getting attacked out here, but whatever. So now you have to hold down this area for a bit and then she'll come out eventually. Well, you got here quicker than expected. I still need a minute or two. I'm in the middle of erasing my research from the Terminus database. You want to leave Zakayev with even a scrap of my work? You might as well hand him a nuke. So again, you got to hold down this area for a bit. You've got zombies. You're going to have mercenaries coming in as well. So use some Semtex, use your decoys or whatever you have, monkey bombs, all that kind of stuff. You've got an ammo pile here, so you should be all right to hold this down. Hopefully you've got some extra armor as well. When Zakayev starts talking, Dr. Jansen is pretty much ready to go. So start heading back in that direction where you first talked to her at the door, refill your ammo if you need to, and then go and collect her. She should be standing out in front of the door ready to rock. You're going to follow her now to the expo site. She takes her time, so you can't just get too far ahead of her. She's going to take her time. There's nothing you can do about it. So just follow her. Get kills along the way. Dr. Jansen will slowly, and I do mean slowly, make her way to the roof to this helipad, and you will make a final stand here. Kill the zombies. Kill the mercenaries. Get on the helicopter and exfil, and congratulations. You have done extraction solo. This works, of course, for teams as well, but... This is a solo guide, so anything here you can do as a team. Try it out solo. It's really not that bad. I know you can get it done. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video really soon.